You know, Brent, these two teams are they're both known for getting their three-point shot away and connecting. So will it be three-point bombs all night long for us? Oh, yeah. Put on a seatbelt, strap into the cockpit. We're fighting a war exclusively from the three-point line tonight. But for these teams, that's the go-to. So I think it all depends on who can get hot and stay hot. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Front guard spots filled by Barrett and Randall. Then it's Robinson. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Grimes in at the two. Now here's Lillard. Mitchell Robinson unable to get his last shot to go in. And that one's good. Lillard. Lillard's got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for Milwaukee. Has to bear it. For Middleton and Barrett gets it to go. RJ not getting distracted by the defense closing in on him. That's a nice looking jumper. Randall against Giannis. The shot by Middleton wide open. Off target from outside. You know, Brent, most nights we see Grimes expend a ton of energy out there, and it is terrific. Yeah, he's asked to do a lot of different things, and he's got to provide that pop on the perimeter. And then he often draws the hardest defensive assignment at the other end. So this guy is becoming more complete. Here's Lillard. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. And Damian Lillard, good for the three. Lillard's got his second bucket tonight. Uh, how many times do we see Lillard just change the face of the game from downtown? Primes passes to Barrett. And Brunson, here we go. Good D by Lopez. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Beasley coming off a solid outing against Miami. And that's good from Ana Kumbo on the assist by Beasley. Well, the find from the off guard Beasley there would like to see more of that. Malik working the ball around. Robinson a screen on Lillard. On deep, Brunson. Rebound, Milwaukee. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Count it good. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. The pass to Barrett. After Brunson. They need this. Misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. Uh, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Lillard from outside, and again Milwaukee with the triple. And right now they're just focused on putting together good possessions. Yeah, that's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. The Bucks making a switch here. Bo Champs checked in. And let's take a moment here to see some of the numbers for Robinson. Sixth in rebounding, and he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And he's a top 10 rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven, and he competes with you for the entire game. Oh, yeah. 
On defense, the Bucks. Brunson scanning the floor. Into the lane. And the rejection by Adekumbo. Giannis able to get stops from anywhere on the court. And Lopez has it in the corner. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Knicks trail by eight. Rando passes to Brunson. And here is Robinson. Pass to Barrett. There's a screen by Robinson. And R.J. Barrett gets the three. Barrett's got five. And Barrett's a creative player, a guard who can thrive in pick-and-roll sets. When you look at this Knicks roster, Greg, this is a team that feels it can make a deep playoff push. And they have their stars. They have tons of young talent. Developing that talent and adding a piece or two should get them where they want to go. And here's Randall after Damian Lillard was able to get the three to go. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. The physicality Randall plays with night in and night out, Brent, is impressive. Wow. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Kevin, when you have this matchup, he's such a workhorse. You feel like he's going to eventually just wear down his opponent. He's got great conditioning, and he's always on the floor. And he hits the first of three. And every season, you have teams, Greg, that start out hot only to falter. How do you separate the real from the rest? Kevin, that's a good question. And, and one thing is what we call point differential. Doesn't just look at wins and losses, but margins of victory. And it can indicate who's really built to go the distance. And he sinks the second. During his breakout season with the Knicks, Julius Randle, I think has another level to his game. It's about that consistency he's trying to get to. And he's an all-NBA caliber player when he gets it going. And he makes all three. Bucks leading by five. One thirty-five left in the first quarter. Lillard from outside, and another three for Milwaukee. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. For New York, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Randall is screen on Lillard. Quickly kicks to Randall, and the Knicks miss again. You could see he wanted to get him back. Sadly, he couldn't capitalize from outside the arc. Quickly against Lillard. Tipped away. Just five on the clock. Bochamp passes to Giannis. A three-pointer off the mark. For the New York Knicks, they come in off a good outing against Charlotte. Here's Quickly. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Damian Lillard. That's what quickly wanted to go inside and create some kind of contact. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shoot two. That free throw, no good. And you know, Greg, they call him IQ. Instant offense is Emmanuel quickly. Yeah, and he puts points on the board quickly <laughs> no pun intended a volume three-point shooter and has a deadly little floater in the lane here's what Milwaukee's going with right now Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez and Middleton subbed in for Abitacumbo when we talk about Emmanuel quickly Brent his last name really describes him well doesn't it yeah Kevin this guy is fast a source of immediate energy uh, that provides this team a spark, especially on offense. This guy can be really aggressive. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. DiVincenzo kicks to Hart. Brunson against Lillard. Brunson no good. 
He's been off the mark and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Middleton kept working and working did not quit on the play and that forced the defense into a foul. The Bucks shooting their first free throws of this game. The first one falls. Well, one of the things that's great about Middleton is his ability at the free throw line. I mean, this guy is around 90% for his entire career. So he knows how to get there, and then he knows what to do with it. Middleton hits them both. Well, you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. From deep three-point land. And that one released in time, but no good. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Bucks lead by 12. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bucks. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. They've got Hart. Jalen Brunson out there with Emmanuel quickly. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hartenstein in at the center position. Focus from Chris Middleton like he'd been there before. I don't know if he saw the defense. The results were good. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from quickly. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range even against that win. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range it doesn't matter who's guarding him now here's quickly against Charlotte he was really on his game Hartenstein passes to quickly out to Brunson the high post shot hits in and hoping this is the start of a new trend two for eight now from the field and that's where Brunson gets a lot of his baskets he just thrives in the mid range now a timeout called by Milwaukee and as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Beasley's checked in for the Bucks. Payne comes in for Lillard. And New York making a change here.
Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Payne finds Middleton inside. Portis off target at the rim. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat out miss. Right now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you Kevin. Chris Middleton is a huge part of the Bucks offensive attack. Giannis says we need him to be aggressive taking over games and asked whether down the stretch he needed to be the one to take over. Giannis says nah I trust this guy to death. If he wants the ball he gets it. Simple as that. Kevin. You're so right David. The trust factor is definitely there. Hey thanks for the report. So it's the Bucks now following the score by New York. Here's Middleton. He's on target from eight feet out. Middleton's got six points. Good handles from the six foot eight inch Chris Middleton. That's some versatility there with that size. To the inside. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start giving up easy slams all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Grimes passes to Brunson. Here's Hartenstein. Now Barrett. He has five. Passes to Hart. Let's go. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul hey, and the next hey, night Greg. it is. Uh, there's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. You throw good. Hart. And so crucial for Hart to get to the line, establish some confidence. He's solid from there. I think it sometimes gets his perimeter game going. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. Lillard comes in for Cameron Payne. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for the Knicks. And Hart drops them both. Milwaukee with the ball. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Beasley outside. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Beasley's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Nine-point game. They lost the last time they faced the Bucks. that one in Milwaukee. Yeah, and, and their last time playing against this club, they fell short. A lot of cheap fouls really plagued their starting unit. And I'm sure they learned their lesson from that game. They know they can't afford to have their first unit unavailable when the game is at critical junctures this time around. Now Robinson after the miss three from Damian Lillard. Lillard against Brunson. Back to Robinson. And stolen by Portis. And it's Beasley in the corner. Over Hart. And Beasley gets it to go on the assist by Lillard. Beasley's got his second bucket of the night. More and more as a reliable spot up shooter, Beasley with the feet set knocks it in. Oscar Barrett wants to get it to Robinson and does. Lillard outside. Connects from three point range. And now a 12 point Bucks lead. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. New York calls timeout.
Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. The Knicks also changing it up. Julius Randle comes in for Josh Hart. And quickly in for Jalen Brunson. There's a minute 40 left in the first half of basketball. Shoot it, shoot it. Quickly the pass to Robinson. Barrett for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Milwaukee leading by 12. Adekumbo kicks to Lillard. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Portis finds Beasley. And the pass to Adekumbo. Six on the shot clock. Adekumbo is a monster inside. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Barrett against Connaughton. Will it go? Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Barrett. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Now here's Lillard. 19 points in the game. Portis kicks to Connaughton. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Randall with a screen for Barrett. Pass to Randall. Back to Barrett. Picked by Randall for the three. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut back down to 12 as they get that one from Barrett. Now, this kid's got some flair. Barrett, not one to back down. Lillard from outside. No good on that one. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Well, Coach, this first half has been a struggle. What's been the problem? Lack of intensity. We're back on our heels. They're attacking us. We're not getting much done. I do not envy those young men going into the locker room right now. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Welcome, everybody. It may be early on in the season, but not too early to take a full assessment of the Eastern Conference standings. Well, I think for Milwaukee, this team wants to do big things, shack sized things. And I got to say, they're looking almost as dominant as Kenny. Easy, big fella. But I got to say, they are making it look easy here in this early part of the season, at least.
Now for a moment to look at our game, everything, and I mean everything, is falling into place for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've been selfless on offense, setting each other up. The defense couldn't really guess where the ball was going, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, really strong ball movement so far. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Beasley on the wing along with Middleton. And it's Lillard in the point guard. So that's who Adrian Griffin starts with in the second half. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Randall is screen on Beasley. Here's Brunson. And the rejection by Giannis. Middleton with it. Robinson picks him up. Barrett against Beasley. To the wing on the left. Lillard finds Lopez. Robinson with the block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Shot clock at three, and the basket by Lillard. 21 points for Damian Lillard. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Randall. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Five on the clock. Robinson sets a screen for Brunson. Lopez with the block. Excellent off-ball awareness as Brooke was able to get over there and swat it away. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Beasley outside. Back to Lillard. And Damian Lillard with the jam. And showing why he's so respected around the league. Lillard lighting it up. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And looking now at some numbers here for Randall. What a run he's been on over the past few weeks. 
and he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And he's a top 10 rebounder this year for good reason. He's unbelievably driven, and he competes with you for the entire game. Knicks trail by 16. Passes it to Barrett. Brunson against Lillard. Now here's Brunson. Six points for him. Basket good. Brunson's got eight. Such a sturdy player, Jalen Brunson, getting a little bump. It's not going to throw him off. And we know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Now Barrett after the miss three from Damian Lillard. Handle down low. Lopez covering. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just 12 points on the bucket from Randall. Beasley with it. five points in the game. Middleton outside. Robinson pulls it in. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Bucks leading by 12. Middleton for three. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Ante DeCumbo's got four assists now tonight. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Commissioner Adam Silver is always taking a fresh look at the league and thinking about innovation. The in-season tournament is an idea he's championed, and he knows it's not going to be an overnight success. Some fans and players may ask, why should we think this is meaningful? He says we can create new traditions. Kevin? Yeah, you got to think that way. I like the way they're trying to delve into this brand new world of in-season tournaments. Good stuff, David. Thank you. And he comes up with the deuce. Barrett's got 12 in the game. And maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Lopez, a screen on Brunson. Lillard. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Randall, a screen on Middleton. And it's Barrett penetrating. Out left of the wing. And here's Brunson outside. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Well, the improvement from Brunson has mostly come from his shooting. We know he can go inside, but three balls, that's a good sign. Middleton outside. Uses the glass to finish the way. Middleton's got five points now this quarter. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And a new group in for the Knicks. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for R.J. Barrett.
116 left in the third quarter. Esther Randall. by Giannis. Here's Middleton. He's got 11. The three drains the three-pointer. Middleton's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Bucks. And here is DiVincenzo. Hasn't made one yet. Quickly against Antetokounmpo, and it's quickly missing. Antetokounmpo dishes to Lillard. They set the pick, and a miss there on the triple. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach, and he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. Takes the three. He can't get that one to fall. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Bucks ahead, leading by 17. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the court for the Knicks. We've got Emmanuel quickly. Josh Hart out there with Hartenstein. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's DiVincenzo in at the three slot. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucks? Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. And here we look at Hartenstein. He can do a little bit of everything for you. Hartenstein, probably the biggest skill he has that I see often is the playmaking ability. So he'll rebound and be physical, but all of a sudden sneak a pass in there with a great assist. Now here's Middleton to the paint. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. No stopping Bobby P. That time powers through to the foul. On the free throw, no good. And the physicality that Bobby Portis brings to the game is something that his teammates really get behind. It makes him such an effective player out there, impacting the attitude of so many. Now, on to Kumbo. Middleton outside. The three. They get it back. A second chance effort and up to Takumbo lays it in and the Bucks lead by 15 and again just taking the greatness for granted here amazing sequence from Giannis quickly against Beasley quickly the pass to Brunson 
And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. And Beasley has the ball here for Milwaukee. Payne looking around. Here's Middleton. And he overshot that one, missing. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. <laughs> he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Hart kicks to DiVincenzo. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. DiVincenzo's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. the box with some changes. Lopez comes in for Bobby Portis and it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Hartenstein. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter David Aldridge. David. Kevin thanks was able to listen in on Adrian Griffin's huddle with his team. Now he told his guys not to get comfortable. He said so we've got a little breathing room. So what? That's no reason to slow down out there. He wants them to keep the effort up. Guys. Thank you, David. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Now here's Young. Here's Payne. Milwaukee. No good that time either. With the step back. Out to the right wing. The pass to quickly. Back to Brunson. Lock at six. Robinson sets a screen for Brunson. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Pass to Connaughton. And here's Giannis. Brunson covering. The kick out to Lopez. And the three off target. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Quickly. The shot from the low post is good. Now don't let Quickly's build fool you. He can compete inside against some tough opponents. Ante Dekumbo looking over the floor. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And Matador defense... That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton, and Lillard subbed in for Payne. One shot. throw good Giannis 
Brent, don't you love what a team player Giannis is? A star with very little ego. One of the things, Greg, he does so well is deflect everything or reflect everything back to him. It's about him. He'll compliment his teammates, and then he'll take on the responsibility when the team isn't playing at its highest level. Lillard with the bucket. And Giannis showing you we can lead the offense through him. Knicks trail by 12. Thompson with it. Lopez grabs the board. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Bucks. 17 points was their biggest margin. That one doesn't go. The Knicks have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Brunson hats in, coming off an assist from Randall. 16 points here for Jalen Brunson. Milwaukee leading by 10. Here's Lillard. Middleton up top. Back to Lillard. And Lillard gets double teamed. Here's Lopez. Good on the shot. Lopez close up and gets it done. 127 left here in the fourth quarter. Knicks trail by 12. And here's Brunson. And the Knicks good for two. And aren't we here with Brunson? This is what we expect from him, crafty and efficient. Milwaukee's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for the Bucks. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. Uh, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those, but, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Lillard. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Here's Lillard. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Hits it from three-point range. And once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but... Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Now here's Giannis. Jalen Brunson missing his last shot. And Lillard gets double teamed. For three, Middleton. It's rebounded by Barrett. And so here is New York. They trail by 11. Dishes it to Randall. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Quickly the pass to Hartenstein. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Now quickly a young player but making veteran reads out there. Quickly saw the opening and delivered. Here's Bochamp. And so the Bucks take the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Giannis. Huge, big win tonight. How did you do it? I think we just had fun. Um, I think our guys were running to their spots and we were able to drive the lanes and they made the right pass and we were knocked down shots. The ball was moving. We were defending. We were having fun. So that's why we got to win. So you need to patent that formula, I guess. Congrats on the win, man. Thanks. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. 
as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.